Welcome to this week's BartenderHQ.com podcast, and I'm your host, David Scooby Sangwell, and this week we're talking about Christmas. It's coming up very soon. Uh, we're into December already. It is Saturday the 5th when I'm recording this. It'll be coming out tomorrow on Sunday the 6th of December. And if you haven't got all of your presents sorted for Christmas yet for your bartender friends, keep watching, keep listening. This is the show for you. Welcome to the BartenderHQ.com podcast. Find us on Facebook and Twitter at BartenderHQ. Here's your host, David Scooby Sangwell. So on this week's BartenderHQ.com podcast, we are talking Christmas gifts for bartenders. Uh, Now, we're a notoriously awkward bunch to buy for, so other than the obvious of going straight for the bottles of liquor, which is all good, but let's be honest, most of the people in our lives don't know exactly what we're after, they'll be buying us the kind of generic brands that we're probably not that interested in as bartenders and we're more interested in some of the interesting stuff that's out there, some of the the rarer spirits and some of the stuff that uh, that you can't just get anywhere, so... um, we're going to have a look into a few things other than bottles of spirit that you can get for your loved one that's a bartender or is interested in their drinks uh, and enhance their lives in the future. So, first of all, I want to mention that uh, Bartender HQ have finally got our own range of uh, merchandise. So, we've got some t-shirts. Uh, they're all through Cafe Press, uh, which is one of the um, the online systems that kind of prints on demand. Uh, so, we've come up with the designs. We've sent them over to Cafe Press. We've got a bit of a store set up over there. If you want to check it out, go over to bartenderhq.com forward slash store. Uh, that will take you straight through to the Cafe Press site where you can see all the designs, uh, uh, there's guys' stuff, girls' stuff, there's hoodies, there's t-shirts, there's maternity stuff even. Um, and you can basically pick any of these up that you want. So we've got a few basic designs at the minute. We've got one that's a sort of generic bartender one, which says on it, bottle and shaker and strainer and muddler and bar spoon. Uh, so we've gone down the route of a, a lot of the kind of funky shirts that are out there at the moment that are quite minimalist, uh, just the wording on there. And uh, so that's the first one. That's for pretty much any bartender. Then we've got the old fashioned design, which is whiskey and bitters and sugar and ice. Notice that there is no uh, orange or cherry in there, or Coke on top, or anything like that. Uh, So we go with a traditional uh, recipe for that one. Uh, There's also a daiquiri one, uh, which reads across the front, uh, rum and sugar and lime and rocks. And then the final one is designed more for flare bartenders. So it says, flip and tap and snatch and stall and repeat. This is kind of like a practice style design for flare bartenders uh, to wear when you're practicing. So kind of shows your passion off a little bit. I think if you check these out, you're going to enjoy the designs. I'm working on the menus at the top. They don't seem to do anything at the moment. So just click on the home button, scroll through the designs. And uh, as soon as I can get the other stuff working, I will. Now, Chris and Julia over at the Mixology Talk podcast, they have put together a guide for bartenders that want to put a little bit more effort into it than... uh, than you need to to buy a t-shirt and they've got a whole podcast uh, that came out a few weeks back on homemade Christmas gifts for skilled bartenders so this covers a whole bunch of stuff about how to make yourself uh, vanilla extract at home infused vodkas, infused fruit brandies, uh, bitters and flavour libraries so things like tinctures and that kind of thing Uh, how to make your own liqueurs, your own limoncello, shrubs and all that sort of stuff, so uh, flavoured salts, flavoured rimming salts and sugars, uh, all sorts of stuff. So if you are in the market for something that you want to kind of spend a little bit of time on and you want to actually make the gifts uh, for your friends and family, which is a really, really nice touch, uh, this is a great show. I'm not going to try and uh, I'm not going to try and beat them at their own game on this one. They have put together an absolutely fantastic show on it. So go and check out the guys over at abarabove.com and if you want to search for them in iTunes, they are Mixology Talk Podcast. Um, It's a great show and they have been on the show with us in the past uh, and I've been on their show in the past, so have a look for those as well. They're really cool guys and it's a brilliant, brilliant little guide that they've put together. Now, if you're looking for some uh, general bar equipment so if you want to grab yourself some shakers and you want to grab some flare bottles you want to grab uh, mixing glasses pour spouts any of the normal stuff that you will need day to day Uh, I've also now got a system set up with barproducts.com who have 
an affiliate scheme and uh, if you want to help support the show uh, if you go to bartenderhq.com forward slash bar products um, you'll be taken through to barproducts.com to their homepage. Uh, do your normal shopping on there um, you won't be charged any extra but we get a little kickback from it and that all just helps to support the show and uh, helps us to pay the bills uh, obviously things like hosting uh, server space that we need to keep the website going and to keep the podcast going all costs a little bit of money and uh, anything that we can do to help kind of cover those bills is great and if you're going to be buying your bar products anyway just jump through our link our affiliate link uh, on the bartenderhq.com homepage or click bartenderhq.com forward slash bar products and you will get uh, to buy your stuff at the normal rates and help us out with supporting the show so there is also uh, one last option there. There is the Bartender Gift Guide, which is uh, right there on the top bar at the Bartender HQ site, which is bartenderhq.com forward slash bartender hyphen gift hyphen guide. Um, and you can basically get a bunch of stuff via Amazon there, uh, which will give you um, some ideas. So you've got things on there like there's a, The Science of Booze, which is a brilliant book. Um, lemon presses, cocktail starter kits, advanced bartender kits, bar blades, aprons, jiggers, basically anything that you would need to work behind the bar, or more as well for the, for the home bartenders, so uh, you've got spherical ice moulds that you can chuck in the freezer and have some awesome ice balls, so if you're not... Um, if you're not wanting to set up uh, an extra account and you already use Amazon, you can use that. Or you can click through any of those links and buy anything you want from Amazon and we will get a little kickback of it. Now that, we only get a kickback if you're in the UK. With the barproducts.com stuff, we will get um, kickbacks from anywhere around the world. Uh, click through to that one if you're in the States, that will help us out a lot more. If you click through the Amazon links, uh, that will help us out if you are in the UK store. That would be awesome. And of course, if you've got a bartender in your life that's looking to improve their knowledge, there's always the Bartender HQ uh, Memorising Cocktails the Easy Way ebook. Now, that is uh, my guide to memorising as many cocktails as you would ever need to. I used it to memorise over 600 drinks uh, for doing the Bartender Challenge with TGI Fridays. It was a huge competition, massive task, uh, but the techniques in that book are the ones that have stood me in good stead with memorising drinks all over the world for when I've started working at new bars and new restaurants. Uh, for example, in Dubai, I had to memorize uh, four different bars worth of me menus all at one time. And uh, I was able to do that using the techniques in this book. So I've shared some kind of ninja secrets in there. And hopefully that will all be useful for you. So you can find that straight from the Bartender HQ homepage as well. Now, our flare course is still on the way. It is coming very, very soon. If you want a discount on that, join our mailing list. That is bartenderhq.com. And uh, just click for our 10 killer cocktail ebook. Uh, that will get you onto our mailing list. That will get you the ebook absolutely free. That will come straight through to you as soon as you register. And then you will get the discounted version of the course as soon as that's launched as well. And that is going to be within the next couple of weeks. We are getting there, I promise you. It just takes quite a while to get everything filmed. <clears throat> edited and uploaded uh, in the right kind of formats so we are working on it it will not be too much longer i promise other than that if you want to get in touch with the show uh, next week we're going to be talking about how you can make the most of big events in the media that are coming up so uh, specifically things like the star wars new movie coming out uh, how can you make the most of that within your bar how can you make the most of that to get attention for your bar um and it's not just obviously going to be about the Star Wars one, but uh, about any movies that are coming out. When James Bond movies come out, you can obviously make a huge killing on martinis. Everyone's thinking about it, and uh, that's just another example, but we'll talk about that in far more detail next week. So if there's anything that you want to know about specifically um, for your bar, if there's any questions that you have that I could maybe help you out with, please do just drop me an email, david at bartenderhq.com, or if you signed up for the mailing list, drop me a reply to any of the emails that come through to you from there. And I'd be delighted, just as I did with Glenn Talavara uh, a little while ago, we featured him on the website and uh, we got to talking and we've had a good chat since then. I've uh, been through a lot of his questions and 
uh, hopefully helped him out a little bit with his career. So if you've got any questions, do get in touch and I would be delighted to help you out with anything that I can do bartending related. So for this week, guys, that's it for your bartenderhq.com podcast. Join us on again next week when we're talking about the different uh, ways that you can capitalize on big events in the media. And I'll see you then. Goodbye for now. Thanks for listening to the bartenderhq.com podcast. Find us on Facebook and Twitter at bartenderhq.com.